So for um, number four, we want to calculate the sum uh, of the series whose partial sum is given. So this is the partial sum. And so what this means is that we have the sum of some sequence a n, we don't know what that sequence is, and we're summing it from one to infinity. And so um, when we sum it, we get a sequence of partial sums, right? So the sum, say, of 10 is going to be the sum of a1, a2, a3, a4, and so on until a10. So we have that the sequence of uh, the of partial sums is given by n squared minus 1 over 4n squared plus 1. So what this means is that suppose that I want uh, the sum from 1 to 10. All I have to do here is plug 10 for n, and I'm going to get the sum from 1 to 10, right, of all the, all the terms. So it wants us to see what the sum is if we sum from 1 all the way out to infinity. So in practice, we are uh, summing up infinite terms. So we, what we have to do here is we have to take the limit as n approaches infinity of this guy over here. Because if we take this limit, it's like seeing what happens to the sum as we add infinite terms. Um, and so if we just take this limit over here, it's going to give us infinity minus 1 is infinity over uh, 4 times infinity squared. So that's going to be infinity. Um, and that doesn't really help. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide by the highest coefficient. Um, so we're going to divide everything by n squared. So 1 over n squared on the top and 1 over n squared on the bottom. And the reason that we're doing this is so that we can at least get some numbers. Um, we're going to get rid of the infinity, right? And we're going to have infinity in a quotient. And a quotient is really nice because whenever we're dividing by infinity, it goes to zero. And so this is the same thing as the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared divided by n squared is 1 minus 1 over n squared. Um, 4n squared divided by n squared is just 4, and then plus 1 over n squared. So when we take this limit, um, the limit of 1 is just 1 minus 1 divided by infinity, that's going to be 0, over the limit of 4 is just 4, and then plus 1 divided by infinity is plus 0. And so this is going to give us 1 fourth. So in practice, this means that it, um, if we add the sequence, if we add terms from 1 um, all the way out to infinity, um, the, the sum is going to get closer and closer to 1 fourth.